there welcome or welcome back it's paula here it's officially been a month since i joined booktube honestly i've loved it so far i can't believe i was so apprehensive and i was so scared of starting my channel it's been a great time i've honestly read more books than ever and i've had a great time filming and especially editing i think it's a new fun love for me but while i've been here for a month I feel like I haven't really introduced myself to you guys, so hi! That's what I'm gonna be doing today. Especially, I'm not only new to YouTube, but also to booktube. I'm new overall, so I thought why not introduce myself by doing the booktube newbie tag. So basically answering a couple questions about myself so you guys can get to know me. I'm gonna start with a little introduction that's not on the questions, just so you know who I am. Basically, uh, my name is Paula. I am currently 22 and I live in Spain. I was born and raised here, even though I did go to college in the US, Savannah specifically. I feel like since now you know who I am, you know my name, we can start with the questions. First question is, why did you start this channel? That is a very heavy question for me at least. I've always wanted to open a specifically a book channel. I remember when I was still in high school and there was this one booktuber that I loved. She was Spanish, her name was Andrea Rolin. She is now an author in Spain and has published quite some books. But yeah, that was kind of my introduction to booktube when I was back in high school. And my mom actually was the one who was like, why don't you do that? And I was like, no, that's embarrassing. And at the time it felt very embarrassing because I was still in high school. I was not the most liked person in my class at least. I really thought there was gonna be like real life consequences to opening a youtube channel especially like you know kids being mean so obviously i never actually considered it but it's been a lot of years since and a lot of things have happened and i honestly just feel like at this point <laughs> even though i'm very dumb i feel like life is so short to not be doing stuff because you're scared or because of how people might think of you I'm finally doing something that I wanted to do since I was in high school. I've been reading since I was very, very little and I stopped for a while and booktube kind of helped me get back into it again. So I'm very grateful to it. Yeah, I just want to talk with people about books. I think that's the main reason why everyone makes a booktube channel. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? It's something I believe I can bring that it's unique to booktube. I don't know how unique, honestly, I feel like it's hard to be completely unique. Obviously, I have an English-speaking YouTube channel and I speak English and honestly, most of the books that I read are written in English, so I just read them in English. But I do want to bring more books by Spanish or Spanish-speaking authors forward. So I know that my channel is small, but I definitely want to help as much as I can. Because good literature is not just English literature, and I feel like a lot of people forget that. We can get stuck reading the same types of books by the same types of authors, and I definitely want this channel to be very, very dynamic. I want this channel to honestly be a little bit of everything. I want you to come into my channel and honestly not know what you're going to encounter. I read classics, I read contemporary literature, I read a lot of romance, but also Spanish literature. I also read fantasy and non-fiction. I read a little bit of everything and I feel like now a lot of booktube channels are very focused on the one thing. So like either very focused on fantasy or very very focused on romance or thrillers. But mine is gonna be a little bit of everything because I read a little bit of everything, honestly. Why do you love reading? That is such a hard question to ask a reader, honestly. It's kind of like asking what's your favorite book. I started reading when I was very little. My high school school situation was not the greatest. I was always very hard on myself, very hard on everything that I did. My grades, my appearance, how I interacted with people. So books became kind of my safe space. I don't know, reading my books, I never felt judged or insecure. I just felt like it was in my little bubble and it was a very happy, very cozy bubble. And I grew up and my taste changed, but I kept getting books. I kept buying and reading books. And I feel like reading was such a big part of my personality then and now. Books are my happy place. <laughs> what book or series got you into reading? That's hard. As I said, I've been reading since I was very, very little. I feel like when I was little, I was, I was really obsessed with the Geronimo Stilton books. 
his and like the they are still done so those are the ones that i just consumed non-stop when i was little then the book that got me a little bit more into fantasy i think would have been like the harry potter series those made such a big impact on my life and my childhood and then from there i started reading percy jackson and so many more fantasy series when i graduated from high school i was just so busy with everything i was so busy with my senior year of high school I was so busy with my college entrance exams and then I was just busy trying to chill and relax after all that stress. I just didn't read and I did not read until my junior year of college, so 2021. And that's when I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I feel like that was my first like more adult book. And honestly, at the time, it was just a book that I really loved. Also, my hometown was in the book, which is, I think, wild. Because that book was written by an American author, I believe. And the fact that my, not my home country, Spain, no, but like my hometown was featured in the book. I was like, this was made for me. It was definitely not. But yeah, I think that's a book that got me back into reading back in 2021. And now here we are. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Honestly, I'm not necessarily an introverted person, but I am a highly anxious person and I feel like I've always been so scared of putting myself out there because of how people might look at me or what people might think or say about me and I'm just so tired, but I think that is still my hardest challenge, trying to put myself out there and not be worried about people thinking I don't know, whatever they think, honestly, like even people not liking my content makes me really scared for no reason because I'm doing this for myself and for people like me who love reading books. But you know, people are always gonna be mean, there's always gonna be some hate comments. So that obviously is something very hard for me and I, even though I shouldn't, I take them very personally. So that is kind of what I'm working on right now, trying not to feel so scared and so attacked when someone like has a negative opinion on something that I did. Next question is when did you start reading? As soon as I learned how to read. I was one of those kids in elementary and middle school who always had a book with her so yeah as long as I can remember I've been reading books. My parents have always loved books they had a big library growing up so they always encouraged me reading and for Christmas or for my birthdays, I always would get books. So it's something that I got from them. So I'm very, very happy that they are so supportive about it. Where do you read? Anywhere. Um, honestly, it just depends. I read a lot in my bed and on the sofa. I also sometimes read on my table just because I like to annotate some books. So it's just easier to write. And then I also have a Kindle. So I read anywhere. I can with that Kindle, so sometimes if I'm going out and I have to wait or go somewhere by public transportation, I just use my Kindle. It's very convenient, honestly. And I don't know if you can count like audiobooks in this like question, but even with audiobooks, like I listen to books in the car or at the gym, so I basically read everywhere at any time. <laughs> what kind of books do you like to read? Anything. <laughs> Okay, not anything. I am very specific with what I don't want to read. There are some very like popular series or popular books or authors going around in booktube and booktok that I just know I'm not gonna vibe with, so I'm just not gonna read. But what I like to read personally, when it comes to fiction, I read a little bit of everything. I love classics, uh, fantasy, romance books, literary fiction. Honestly, lately I've been reading more standalones just because it's easier and I don't have to commit so much time to something but i do like some series and when it comes to non-fiction i read basically what i'm interested in which is mostly memoirs or biographies by people that i like or admired or know also anything that relates to linguistics or art i think that's always very very interesting and i have read some formula one biographies or books because i really like formula one and you know if I can learn more about it, I will. So some of the genres that I would say I don't read as much is probably like thrillers or horror. Not because I don't like it, it's just I don't reach out for them. I'm never like in the mood for a thriller. If I get it recommended, I will read it. Again, I read a little bit of everything. I take recommendations very seriously. 
and also one of my goals this year is to read more diversely so I have a bunch of books that are translated and by authors that are not necessarily American or Spanish but around the world so what does your book collection look like? well it looks like this I don't really have much of a collection these are like I still believe these are a lot of books but uh, you know when you go to booktube you're used to seeing like you know like the five billy shelves or in a row filled with books I don't have the space for that so I have my big bookshelf and then like one of the smaller billy shelves and that's how it looks like I recently did an organizing my shelves video so this is how they end up looking like so the next question is one that I've seen some people do but some people haven't so I don't know if this is really part of the question but I will answer it because I like it what are some of your favorite booktubers? And I have to say I have a bunch because I consume so much YouTube and so much booktube specifically so the list is long but I watch a lot of Kyrie Can Read I actually started following her before she started her booktube because I was in Korea so I just wanted to see how I was in Korea so I found her channel like that Destiny Seatville, Sarah Caroli and Hailey Pham I think I watch them more for like the vlog aspect of their books because I'm not always like the same books that they do but the videos are very well done and they're very entertaining and then some of my favorite current youtubers are the book Leo Shaughnessy Schroeder I think that's her name Kalila D I really like Kalila's videos and I think one of my all-time favorite youtubers now is Isabella from Throne of Pages honestly she's the main reason why I opened this channel so I think those are the booktubers that I've been watching the most lately yeah there are so many out there but I think those are like the main ones in my life right now but yeah those were all of the questions I hope you liked this little booktube newbie tag I hope that you learned a little bit more about it and that you liked this video and you decide to stay please like and subscribe if you want to hear more or see more from me I'm honestly enjoying making videos a lot and even though I don't have a lot of subscribers it honestly gives me such happiness that they want to be here and they want to listen to me rumble about the books that I like and the books that I don't like thank you so much for staying until the end see you in the next one, bye!